Hi, this is James from the Hornbill Technical Support Team and uh, this is a short video to show you how to log a call using the email autoresponder. As you can see here, I'm using the SupportWorks 7.50 client and this is Service Pack 3. This will apply to any version of uh, the SupportWorks client. So, uh, what I'm going to do first of all is show you the email routing rules. So, we have presumed that you have been able to set up the email mailbox and you've also been able to get email into your SupportWorks shared mailbox. So, as I go to the SupportWorks server configuration, I'm clicking on the email routing rules tab. Um, I have also done a similar video in regards to the uh, uh, email rules and the routing and how autoresponder generally works um, so you may wish to view this video first however what I'm going to do here uh, this is going to be a very simple rule um, I've set up a email routing rule to state the subject like percentage this will ensure that all emails that come into my mailbox will be forwarded on as you can see from the uh, radio icon there to forward on SportWorks as an autoresponder request so this will forward every single email onto that mailbox so, uh, from the email autoresponder tab, now what you do need to know is that this is in a particular order, so it will read from top to bottom first. So what you will need to do is change the update call rule to the top. The reason for this is because you would need to, uh, if you have a if you have particular rules and conditions in place um, that reads the particular subject line um, you won't want it to log a call every time that email comes in if you have a g pretty much generic rule so within the condition you can use this pre-built in condition rule here um, what this does is look for a particular word within the subject which is log call or log new call. Um, what I do prefer to use is a separate condition, something a lot more simpler. Subject like percentage. Now if you are using ITSMF um, you would keep this data dictionary to default or set it to ITSMF. Um, in my particular case here I'm using ITSM 3413 so I'm going to switch this to ITSM. I wish for it to raise a incident. Uh, I want the call to be assigned to the support group. I'm also going to select the low priority um, what I'm going to show you now is uh, if I click OK and apply that what's very important with the service levels is that your priority priorities here are actually associated to the SLA to do that once you open your actual SLA within the administration menu you've got the priorities drop down box here to show you which ones have been associated as long as it's associated that's fine so going back to the rule, I've also selected profile code of other. You can also change this to any level profile code you wish. On the email mailbox mailback settings, you can add templates into the uh, manage email templates bulk email templates area. So I'll show you again how to do this within the mail section email manage email templates. you have you have system autoresponder templates so yes yeah, so it's slightly different to what I said just now but you you can actually amend each of these particular templates to state what you what you wish for it to say when the call is actually correctly logged so if I go back to the SupportWork server configuration and open up the rule. The one remaining uh, area on the settings tab is the enable resolution and service control. You will need to keep this ticked by default and what this does is it checks who has actually sent the email and it confirms that it is them and when the call is logged obviously it will then pass their information into the call to say the call has been logged by them. So what this does is it checks the user DB record which is where the customers are stored, checks it against the uh, main key search column uh, which is the primary key for the 
UserDB table. Uh, the web flag is the access rights on that customer record and it's set to 9 and it's checking and matching the email with uh, the from address. So what you do need to check from the access rights point of view is if I access my customers and go into my test customer in the service desk access tab you do have email rights down here on the right hand side to state that you can uh, specify whether you want just to log or just to update request uh, and obviously there is also other ones such as uh, request status reports so you will need to preset that particular web flag value but it's checking the value of 9 so as long as this is met it will use the OK action. Um, by default it selects the AR log new call. Now this is only used for the ITSMF installations. If you have ITSM you will need to switch this across to AR log new ITSM call. And the only thing you really need to know from this point of view is um, from the bottom here the SLA. If you keep this SLA set to SC underscore priority what this will do is it will check your customer properties to see what default SLA you have set in there so if you've set a default SLA in priority within your customer record it will use that to log the call against and if you change this to default SLA which I'm going to in this scenario it will use the SLA that you've specified here so I'm going to OK that and apply and I'm going to OK the rule. So I'm going to test this now by sending an email to my mailbox. So here is my email. James test. Test call. I'll send the email and what we will see is it will automatically come through into the mailbox and through the email routing rules and then into the autoresponder rules and then log a call. Just while we're waiting for that to happen um, this can be really effective as it could completely take out um, uh, all of your admin tasks from the email mailbox point of view um, having to log calls from email update. If you get your email rules bang on first off then it can save you a heck of a lot of time so, as you can see, my call has been logged. I'll uh, double click on the call to enter it. And as you can see, the SLA, priority, summary, everything's come through there. And yeah, that works absolutely fine. Um, what that has done is obviously sent me an email back as well to say that the uh, call has been logged.